Hi everyone! Last week I went to Michael's and I got a Speedball ink sketching set. Um, it came with a set of instructions here and six different nibs. I've written the number of each one um, right here. And it also came with two pen dip pen holders. So I'm going to be trying it out today. Okay, so I've set up some sketchbook paper here. Um, this is just an empty lotion bottle that I've cleaned out and I put some rubbing alcohol in here because uh, that's what I use to clean out my nibs after I use them. It's really helpful to use rubbing alcohol because most people have it in their homes already. Um, and I think it's better than going and getting like the store-bought pen cleaning solution ink I'm using is, what is this, acrylic artist's ink, it's permanent, black, so I'm wearing an apron right now. <laughs> um, okay, let us see, oh I probably should have spread paper or something down under my sketchbook, but oh well. Okay, so let's see, let's go in order of this list. First up is 99. And, I don't know if you can see, but this one has like little slits here that goes around in a circle and it only fits some of the nibs. The other pen holder um, I'll show you is, has just like a hole inside and that'll fit other nibs, but not this nib. Okay. Ooh. And what I like about this ink bottle is that it comes with a dropper so that you can be more precise with how much ink you put into your reservoir or, yeah. I'm not going to put that much on because I just want to test each one. Okay. So, this is number, oh, 99. Well, I can see from this first mark I made that it does give different line thickness. Okay, I'm gonna try the next one. Um, it also uses this holder. This is number 56. Ooh, that's a lot of ink. Okay, so. 56. Oh, I can already tell the nib. This one is gives really like thinner strokes. All of these are good for hatching, cross hatching. So like good for sketching and for writing. Um, they're not the the ones with like the more squared off points. That's for calligraphy. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Wow. I don't know what just happened, but I guess like a whole bunch of ink just, this is like a whole glob of ink here. Yeah. I like it. I like it all. Okay, next one. <laughs> There's still some ink on here though. You can do some really fine details. And the instructions did say that, you know, if you want to do, if you need to do small letters, like small details, yes, you can just move your fingers and your wrist, but for like bigger things in general, it's better to do this kind of gesture. Okay, next nib. Oh, okay, so this is the one that requires the other pen holder. Let's slide that in. And it's already so much smaller. Okay, 
one, oh, two. Wow, this is even thinner than the previous one. Oh my gosh, I love it. I can just see myself doing like tiny little details. When I was in high school, I loved my my media of choice was doing ink drawings and watercolor paint, like all in the same in the same illustration. Um, I should get back to doing that, but I've also not practiced watercolor in a really long time, so. to practice both things again. Okay, next one. We have three more to go. Okay, this one is number 107. Okay, so it, it doesn't look like it's that much different from 102, but I can tell that the nib feels stiffer. And I guess the lines come out a little, just a little bit thicker. <laughs> I'm a dork. Okay. Okie dokie, next one is 108. Oh, this one is, the nib is bigger than the two I just used. They seem so fragile, and I don't want to bend them weirdly. Okay, so 108. Whoa, okay. <gasps> this one's thicker. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with these once I like seriously start using them. <laughs> when I think of ink illustrations, I, I think of um, the Alice in Wonderland book drawings. Those are really cool. Let's see, oh yeah. Let's see if I apply a bit of pressure, this one also gives different line thicknesses. I hope I'm not speaking too uh, quietly. I hope this will show up in the audio later. Okay, next one. Urgh. The last one is 512. It goes back in that first pen holder. This one feels less stiff than that other one I used. Mm. Why are they drawing eyeballs? Okay, I'll draw a nose. And a mouth. Chink on there. All right, so I don't know when I'm, how I'm going to decide when to use this one versus that one because they're very similar, some of them. Uh, but still, it's good to have a variety of nibs than <laughs> just a few, right? I guess I'll have to, I'm going to do a serious drawing now and post it on Instagram or something, but yeah, if you guys are interested in trying pen and ink, I know I got this with a Michaels discount coupon and it was really affordable, so I would give this a go. It doesn't seem to be that, you know, bad quality or anything, so. Yeah, give it a go. I'm gonna do my, come up with a drawing to do now. <laughs>